All right, kids, let's see what this audio sounds like. Where's my uh, live? Let's see what this audio sounds like. Okay, sounds better. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so um, let's see. We just moved the folder to the new location. Um, and let's see, where is that? Overlays, here we go. We changed it to this folder. So let's see if the new overlays work. Let's try the uh, suspense music. I'm not hearing anything. Hmm. See, do we get anything in the console? Any errors? I've interacted with the document now. Looks like it's got some not founds here. Hold on. Field to load resource. Music. Suspense. It's like the folder's wrong. It didn't get the folder change. Uh... Did I not save it? it? Looks like I saved it. I didn't, I didn't refresh this one now. And that's the problem here, I think. Let's try again. Wait for that to go away. All right, hitting the button. There we go. So it says it's playing it. I've noticed, though, what's interesting is the first time I hit it, it seems like I get two coming in. And then the third time I hit it, I actually hear the sound. Am I going to hear anything now? Not hearing anything on that. Yeah, it looks like that's fixed. But did you do the fixed? I haven't seen the fix happen either. Oh, and then now I get it. So interesting. It's like we're... It's a little bit, or you know what it could be? It could be that I'm not hearing it because I'm just doing the refresh and it's still loading all of this stuff. So that might be what's going on there. Okay, so the move to the new folder worked. Um, let's move to site like that. Let's uh, go to the Dragon back overlay on the live stream. Let's refresh that. Cache. Waiting for the scroll bars to go away here around the corner edges, indicating it's finished loading and signal R is there. It's got a sound effect that enforces that as well. Calling initialize player data <clears throat> from our main app that sends a bunch of data over to everybody. And Shaker Fred. All right. Um. Cool. Let's see. Working. So we're not hearing sound effects yet because everything's still loading up. So um, so that's kind of what we're doing there. Let's uh, let's close the scroll. Looks like well, I think we'll hear those sound effects in a little bit. And um, let's see. Let's put give Fred his nameplate back here. And um, okay, so I kind of want to look at refactoring the music player is what I want to do. I'm going to get the the uh, Code Rush music playing because we built that. Is that working? I'm not seeing the Code Rush player come up. Do I need to refresh the drone game? 
Let's see if that, that works. Fred! Things are moving slowly, it seems. Okay, here comes the drone game refreshing itself slowly. There's a 98% of my GPU. All right, it's working its way through. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Let me kill one of my edge windows, and so now I've got just the chat window and edge. It seems to take a lot. There we go. Look at I kill it when I've got the Twitch stream up. Um, edge seems to take a lot of, of, uh, of resources. Uh, okay. Okay, so I kind of have to figure a clever way around uh, to get this so it's more reusable. Um, specifically, inside of my music player, I've got these two static pieces here, which are not great. I've kind of got a kind of a really, even though it works, I've got an architecture that is not conducive to extensibility, to easy extensibility. Um, should get the music up now and see if that works. Hearing, hearing those sound effects that should have played a long time ago now finally kicking in. I click the music button and I still don't see stuff coming in here. Oh, there it is. I hear it. It must be behind Fred. Okay. All right, cool. Frank's there with us. What's your icon, Frank? I don't even... What is that? C Sharp, do the thing. Do the thing. Got it. Cool. Like it. Okay, so the problem is I've got, in my music player, I've got two static instances of the thing. This is used for transitioning from one to another. It's really, <laughs> what I really think I need is I need, uh, I, I need to just change this whole thing around. Let me tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll go with intuition and I'll tell you what I think I need. I think I need another class that's going to, I'm going to take, music players right, right now has got kind of low and high res level responsibilities. And what I want to do is I want to tease those apart into two different classes. That's what I want to do. Um, that's what I want to do. So, uh, so let's work on that teasing out of the low and high level responsibilities. Um, on the high level, we've got something that I want to call a smooth uh, music player. And maybe it's not even a smooth music player. It's a smooth, um, it's a, I'm going to call it a crossfade because it's got crossfade support. Crossfade um, player. Okay. And... And what this thing can do, this class uh, can uh, smoothly crossfade um, sound uh, sound files from a uh, known folder. Excuse me, like that. Okay. Now, when we look at Music Player, we've got this thing called themes. These themes, they're just access to the different folders that are down here. So I could change themes. Let's go look inside here. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. So, Whoops, I tried to rename on that and it didn't work. Folder name, enter. Okay, that worked. Okay, so there's my theme now. I want to rename the theme to sound folder. Okay. Then I'm going to rename themes right here to 
sound folders. I find this is actually kind of really useful in the process of refactoring this, right? Is take the things that I do know, and actually I'm not making any changes structurally at all. I've created one empty class, that's it, and I'm only renaming. But I think the act of renaming gives a, uh, uh, gives a kind of uh, a highlighting to the parts of the class that need to be more uh, genericized, more generic um, in the way they work. So that's what I'm doing here with uh, this. And then I'm gonna right here say active, rename this to active folder. And uh, we're gonna have to get rid of this part right here because that's not any good. Let's change it to that. Active song count, then we're gonna change this to active file count. Now. Um, I think all of these have got to go. My, my gut is telling me all of these go from here into the crossfade player, but they're no longer static. That's the change I think I want to make there. Uh, say volume. Uh, static read only suppress volume level. That's the way we need to suppress the volume. Hey, Carmen Jacotti, who just walked into, into our, our office. How you doing? I can't download my comedy sketch for my class. Uh-oh. The YouTube thing isn't loading? Right. We saw this before on, uh, we did. on this. What do we do? <laughs> See that, kids? Yeah, we saw that before. Um, there we go. I don't know if you yeah, can see that or not. Right. It's going to get in focus. Focus it says an error occurred. Please try again later. Playback ID. Learn more. Can, dare we click on learn more? I think I did this before and I clicked on learn more and it was not helpful. And now when I click on learn more, I've now just got this UI off to the side that's trying to load up. Now it does. Uh, for the latest updates on how we're addressing coronavirus, uh, please visit this uh, location. I don't need that to watch a Key and Peele sketch. Um, troubleshoot video streaming issues. Can be caused by manufacturers troubleshooting internet, your internet or device connection. They'll play your videos again. Um, you may experience, may experience a video streaming issue. You've seen one of these notifications and errors occurred. Let the error tap to retry, try. Yeah, an error has occurred. We saw that. It looks. It says look at internet speed, smart TVs, Chromecast, and game consoles. No, it's on a computer. Holy cow! It says if well, it says if you have many browser tabs open, you've got about seven. Try to close most of them except the one you're using. You to restart your browser, restart your router, restart your computer, update your browser to the latest version. Use Chrome. Uh, what is this thing? Is this a Chromebook? We don't know. No label or anything on this thing. It's just a generic computer. That's a I don't know. Was this helpful? I'm going to say a big fat no. You get me to the point where the within the first paragraph of the assistance, the real assistance, you're telling me to restart stuff. I'm going to say no. Um, Retro CRT says, says, I'm glad even people like Mark uh, have to do home IT support. Uh, Maybe even people like Mark. <laughs> Make the guy a god here? Can we just like, he's just a guy. Yeah, and yet, look, you only come up to my shoulder. Anybody it, want your pizza slice? Oh my god. Come here, some... get a little closer. <laughs> this is Karen's been playing this all morning Anybody long. Anybody want your pizza slice? No, I don't think you can show it on the show. <laughs> Guy's barely wearing enough. He's wearing a pizza slice. A slice of cheese pizza. It's on my Facebook page. Yeah, could be self. It says click on learn more and it just says you can't handle the truth. Um, yeah, let me try to see. Do I have control over here from, uh, we don't have any control, do we? So let's get that control back. That means, yeah, I'm putting, I got to go close some stuff down. 
is what I got to do. All right, so let's close this down and let's close that down. Not What's not starting? Your computer? It shut it down and it won't. Does it need some money? Hey. Oh, Jesus, you can't hit me on the show. Okay. <laughs> Can we not do that? Don't sound, make it sound like I hit you secretly. <laughs> All right. But we have discovered that uh, oh, both that Karen bruises easily and I do not, which is me. I don't know how we um, discovered that. Yeah. But but like she bruises easily, which means if she beats me up, she looks like uh, the one who was in trouble. I'm going to jail. I know I am. Um, Pudding says hello to you, by the way, Karen. Um, let me try restarting over here my overlays layer because we kind of started and restopped uh, OBS. And uh, let's see how we get, if we can make any progress on this. Hey, Karen. He doesn't because you you coddle him like a baby, like you've done with all our children. He's a Karen just says, baby. The, Karen leaves the room, the dog starts whining, and Karen's like, Why doesn't he love you? And I'm like, She just wraps her arms around him all the time. And then she looks at me, she has his face look at me, and she's like, That's a mean man. That's a mean man. He's scary. Only He's mommy so scary. Loves you. Only mommy. Nobody loves you like this is, mommy. This is exactly how she raised the kids, mm -hmm. the same way. Pointing the kids' face at me. Where are you? We need your help. Looks like we're doing this. Um, oh, <laughs> retro series. We've been dragging up. Hello. Hey now. No, no, no! Look out! Oh. Now I'm rooting for the little guy. Wait, let's do it again. Karen. God. Oh my God, this woman. Oh, the baby. dog, take the dog, please. Thank oh, you. Baby. Baby. Oh my God. Yeah, poor alien. He was coming to Earth in peace, says Code Base Alpha. Um, yeah. 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 Okay, so let's see. There's, there's, so now we have some control from the chat room. Is that right? If I do fixed. Okay, we have some control. If I type in drone, do we get that? Nope, we need a refresh of the um, drone overlay, the drone game. Which is coming up right about now. Cool. Now I'm going to hit music. There we go. Then I'm going to hit drone. There's my drone coming out. It's still loading images, and then I'm going to blow up my drone. Okay. All right, kids. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're with us. Uh, so in the process of taking Music Player and refactoring it to create a class, just an instance that, that essentially um, can do... Uh, can basically do what music player is doing with these two pieces here. Uh, it's kind of what's going on. Um, I think I need a, a, another low level class. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to make maybe music layer, music player become the low level class. Uh, let's create it now though. Let's call it low, simple music player. Just for now. And when we get rid of the big class, after we get this whole thing working, we will, um, rename it to music player probably. All right, so I've got a simple music player. That means I'm gonna need, uh, these two pieces are coming over as instance pieces, uh, but they're of type simple music player, like that. Okay, all right. State, uh, that looks good. Fade in time. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to get rid of fade in and fade out because this is always the same. So let's go tab to next reference through it. Wherever we find that, we're going to replace it 
the feed in time with that right there. Okay, that one's done. Let's get this one. Hit escape to come back, tab again. Replace it, hit come back. I'm going to use selection increase, paste, escape, tab, and we're done. Okay. All those abductions the alien was coming to do. Uh, vacation invitations. Yeah. What you got? You have internet, I do not. It says no internet. I'm the IT guy here. I'm going to call that a big fat correct. I'm seeing the same thing. No internet. How do I bring up the uh, your your options here, Karen? Karen? The options for internet? Yeah, for like how do you set up your Wi-Fi on this device? You go to the side where it says... You can do it, you can do it on that machine right there. Yeah, but I can't it. talk and teach a class while you're talking and doing a show. Oh, I see. You've got to go to another place. Right. What is that? Is that the internet yep. button? So it's disconnected. And then go up here, not to the not connected. Okay, you're doing IT for me. And then it's, yep, but then watch. Wi-Fi is turned off no matter which way that button goes. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think you are um, looking at either another restart um, we've had this problem before and we weren't able to break through it. Or you're able, you're going to have to... What do you to... mean another restart? That didn't do anything. Yeah, but it might this time. I don't know. My least favorite IT response. Mm, yeah, I know. I don't have a lot for you here. Um, unfortunately, yeah. We, we saw this problem before and we were like, every time we clicked it like here, so we're clicking over here. I don't know if you can see this. This is a phone book. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is for you. Is there another computer? Mm -hmm. this computer? Yeah, I think, absolutely think it is. When you switch, when you, I think it's computer issue. Hey, Jetson, welcome. I'm doing some IT work for Karen. Um, <coughs> Jetson says hi to uh, to you, Karen. Hello. I'm teaching a comedy writing class right now. Yeah, I think you grab your. If there's, you send the links via email to the kids. You grab one of the kids' machines, um, and you do that, or you just teach from there, I suppose. Um, Lux Perpetus, Perpetua 69 is out there, uh, by the way. Um, there's an alien next to you. His name is Fred. Thanks, Lux. Lux, glad you're with us. Um, glad you're with the Jets in the house with spirals on top of Sex Positive and Mark. Yeah. So yeah, remember, I just want to say, remember we had that problem with that laptop, we weren't able to fix that. Are you just going to do the class in here? Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Yeah, I think you, what I think you do is, I think you grab, I would grab the kids' machines. Because the kids have got great Wi-Fi on their machines. Is that true? Yeah, I would grab the kids' machines, make sure you're connected to Zoe. How long is your show? When does your, when does your class start? So it starts in four minutes. You have four minutes, right? To get this up and running? All right, if we have to, I'll shut my show down we'll sit, we'll, so that you can do it from here. You can do other things while you're doing that. Um, you say it's okay. And I'm just wondering, is there, does it make sense for us to try to just move that whole computer setup outside the room? Yeah, but we can do it. I can help you with that. Uh, yeah, Boost Computer would work. Send email, email the links to all your stuff over. All right. Okay, sorry about that, kids. We're working, just working through some stuff here. Yes, I'm doing IT work. Uh, let's keep focused on here and we'll see how long we can go. Uh, see if we can get any work done here. Uh, I'm in the process of breaking a music player that was working apart so I can make it more flexible is what I'm doing. Creating two different classes, uh, a simple music player and a crossfade player that takes two simple music players and crossfades them. Um, and then essentially makes it so that I can now point to any folder and create a bunch of these kind of looping player devices right here. Uh, Fred teleported away. I think it's called Misty Step. Uh, yeah. Fred's back. Um, well, looks like we need to do a few more, move some refreshing here. I bet it looks like uh, because of the restarts. Let's refresh here. 
refresh here. I'm actually going to bring up uh, Misty Step. Do dice and the dragon back overlay. Refreshing that. Um, and initialize player data. Those lines of code text aren't going away, which means I've got to restart this. It's like this signal R kind of thing where things get connected and disconnected and sometimes require restarts. And if I restart one, I have to restart the other. Oh, Karen, I think before it was because your battery was low, it shut off your Wi-Fi, I'm thinking. And that we, when we had it plugged in for a long time, I don't know if your battery is low or not, but when we had it plugged in for a long time, Wi-Fi came back. And I'm not sure if that's the case or if it's something else, but that seems to be my recollection on that. Okay, and there's player data. Let's make those words go away. Are they going away? Yes, they are. Okay. Working. Spells. I've got all the spells in here. One of the cooler things that we created here, Misty Step. There it is. Yep, briefly surrounded by Silvery Mist. You teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied, unoccupied space. Yeah. Right, Fred? Like that. That's kind of like what we're Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what we got. That's running. Back over here. Let's write some freaking code, kids. Okay. So uh, these are the two music players in here. Um, now I want to just kind of go through line by line and work, grab the pieces and move them across, put them in the right spots. Uh, we definitely need. Um, sure. Oh, wait, let's do this. It's just occurred to me. Let's just, let's do this. Let's copy this whole class. Let's paste this here. Let's rename it to simple music player. Okay, that's there. Let's go down and comment out the other one that we had. So we can do selection increase here on, even though the code doesn't compile. Looks like we got it. Let's comment out that code. Just hit the slash key right there. Now we've got, we've essentially moved our other music player up at the top. Here it is. I'm gonna rename this to simple music player. We'll just edit this one. That's gonna be easier than grabbing the code and moving it up and down. Okay, so let's stop that. Get down here. It does not know anything about the sound folder. Or the active folder. Or the active file count. I think it knows about volume. It does not know about stopping. No, it is not going to know about volume. I'm taking that back. Uh, not going to know about this. It's not going to know about my crossfade time, will it? Yeah, maybe it will. Doesn't have these two. It's got a state, a song state, and an expiration date. Uh, does it have its own sound manager? Yeah, I'm going to say it does. But 
that's going to look like this now. It's grabbing it from this location. Um, and Fred's probably multiclassing by now. Fred was multiclassing at one point, and then we kind of changed things up. Uh, he's no longer multiclassing. Um, I kind of liked it uh, before uh, when he was multiclassed. Uh, and uh, uh, dog, you know, but it's a bigger dog, a bigger dog would be fine. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about what he thinks about all that. Okay, suppressing volume, suppressing volume ends, doesn't know about that. Active song, yes. Time start, yes. Let's move time start to your expiration date. So now we're getting something similar, sim simpler now, which is what I want. Um, okay. Feels like you're doing the show underwater. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me check the sound on that. That's not good. Oh, oh. Okay. Audio issue is back. Oh. So this is kind of interesting. How's the audio now, by the way? How's the audio now is my question, because I've just dropped my GPU usage down. Let's listen to it as well, I think. I'm just going to start a new instance of Edge. Still bad. Okay, so it's unrelated to GPU. Where we start OBS? 